there's now as queer as folk. Um, we've had a bit of fun this morning. Lydia and I do hill sprints every morning and with this coronavirus pandemic, everybody's observing social distancing, which is a good thing. Um, so we run up and down this hill and often we see dog walkers and they sometimes wait, then decide, well, yeah, shall I risk it? Because the path is probably two metres wide. So they make that considered decision to walk past us as we're heavy panting. Um, so today, this old lady, mid 60s, I'd probably say with a little Scotty dog, she um, was stood at the top and we're thinking, is she doing the same? Just having a little deliberation whether she's going to risk coming down, passing us. And we ran up, ran down, and she was still there. And I was thinking, perhaps she's going to go the other way. But no, on our way back up the second time, she came down. And she said, oh, I wish I could do that. And so I made some flippant comment. Um, and uh, all good. Finished our hill runs. Went to go and get our stuff. And it had gone. Vanished. Surely not. Middle 60s. Walking a dog. All people that own dogs are lovely people, surely. Um, perhaps it had been somebody else whilst we were running down. So Lydia's got an iPhone, so we ran back to her house and did the old find my iPhone. And um, I ran back to my house to get the troops, Madison and Dexter. So if we're going to face somebody, I'd like to have my back up. Two working German shepherds should scare the living daylights out of anybody. Um, so I went and picked Lydia up. Lydia's husband had already run down to the heath. Um, because it had been located, weirdly, back on the heath. So I picked lids up, we scooted down to the heath, Madison and Dexter are on a guard, and it turns out that she'd picked it up thinking somebody had lost it, even though we were running up and down to the exact same location. She'd wrapped it in a black bag and put it at the very bottom of a handbag. I was going to go home and get my husband to have a look at it to see if we could find out where it came from. Yeah, pull the other one. Honestly, the audacity of some people is absolutely shocking. So this had all sort of settled down by the time I'd got there. But... Madison and Dexter were on guard, so they'd been triggered. And uh, if you've ever seen two German Shepherds triggered, you um, you better watch out. <laughs> so, um, funny. There really is now as queer as folk. I mean, these are peculiar times. People are obviously hard up. But walking your dog brazenly stealing from two people who are running up and down the same hill back to that same location where you've stolen the phone that takes some kahunas honestly so what's this got to do with trt i don't know <laughs> let's let's make it about trt um Surely this is just an example of confidence. So testosterone should give you the confidence to go out and tackle the world. Sometimes we face challenges. Now you can see those challenges as threats or opportunities. This was an opportunity for Madison and Dexter to um, <laughs> have a bit of fun, but it was denied. Sorry, guys. Um, but it's peculiar, isn't it? Because 
is it an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth? Should we have informed the police? Should have let Madden and Dexter eat her? Um, she's in the mid mid sixties. What would, what would be the point? What would be the purpose of doing anything apart from retrieving Lydia's phone? Nothing really. I mean, I did say to her next time I'll release them. <laughs> um, but it's pointless, isn't it? Everybody's on their own journey. Um, it would have been young lads. I'd have, um, yeah, we'd have had a bit more fun with them. Um, but you're not going to change her behaviour. Pointless, isn't it? So when we think about testosterone replacement therapy and we think about being balanced on testosterone replacement therapy, it isn't about being the alpha dog. It isn't about standing up to injustice and uh, taking an eye for an eye. It's about peace. It's about under. But it's about <laughs> God, I'm just making this shit up now. Um, <laughs> it's about being considered. It's it's <laughs> it's about doing the right thing and uh, being mentally stable uh, and making the right decisions. So when you've got low testosterone, you can't make the right decisions because you're low. When you've got high testosterone, you can't make the right decisions because you're high. So when you're balanced on a decent TRT protocol, it means you can use this. <laughs>